In this lecture, we are going to understand what are index properties in TypeScript and what do we use it for. Basically, index properties offers a way to create objects that can hold a dynamic set of properties where the name aren't known beforehand. Let's try to understand it with an example. So let's say I want to create a type and using that type, I want to create some products. So for example, let me go ahead and let me create an interface. Okay, and I'll call this interface as product. Now each product will have a name. So I'll specify that and the name is going to be a string value. Okay, let me also add an ID property here because each product is also going to have an ID property and let's say it is going to be of number type. But then some products might have size property, but the other products will not have size property. Some products might have color property, but the other products will not have color property. Some products might have the type of material property, but other products will not have those properties. But the ID and name will be present for all the products, but other properties can change. So in this case, we want to create a property here for this product interface, which can be replaced by any property name. And in this case, we use indexed properties. To use indexed properties, first we specify what will be the property of type. So for example, this ID and name, these are string values, right? We are specifying a string value as the property name, but we can also use a number as the property name. Okay, so here we can say, prop and the property is going to be of type string because we are not going to use any number as a property name. So that's why I'm specifying the type of the property name as string. After this square brackets, we use another colon and then we specify the type of the value which that property is going to store. So here also I'm going to specify the type as string. Or what I can also do is I can specify that this property can store a value of type string or number. Okay. And now let's go ahead and let's create a couple of properties based on this product type. So let me call it as product one, which is going to be of type product. Okay. And here we need to use this equal to sign. Okay. Now in this product, I need to have ID and name property. So let's say ID is one name is maybe t-shirt. So that should be a string value. Okay. And then after these two properties, I can specify n number of properties for this product one. Okay. So when we are using index properties using this, we can specify n number of properties. For example, here I'm going to have a color property. Let's say color is red. So red is a string value. We can assign it here to this property. So this index property in place of this, we are specifying a color property, which is storing a string value. So then I can also specify a price property, which is going to store a numeric value, maybe 123. Okay. So in place of this indexed property, I'm also specifying this price property for this product one. And to this, I have assigned a numeric value because here we have set this index property. It can store a value of string type or number type. Now I can go ahead and I can create another product, maybe product two, which is also going to be of type product. And it needs to have this ID and name property because this ID and name, it is fixed, but then I can have any other dynamic property here. So let's say this product is mug. Okay, ID, let's change it to two. Now, mug can have color, but here I'm not going to keep this color property. Instead, I will keep material property. Okay, and let's say material is ceramic. And I'll also have capacity property. Let's say maybe 300. Okay, so as you can see, we are able to store a product with different properties in this product type when we have used this indexed property. So we can use indexed properties in TypeScript when we want to have dynamic properties for our entity. So this is one use case. Another use case would be, let's say when you want to store settings or preferences where the exact properties might change depending on the context. So for example, 
let's create another interface here let's call it settings and in here i'm not going to have any fixed property instead i will only have one indexed property you can call it anything i'll simply call it as props and this is going to be a string value so basically the property name is going to be a string value and the value of this property can be a boolean value or let's say it can also be a string value or it can be a numeric value okay now let's go ahead and let's create an object using this settings interface so i'll create a variable i'll call it my settings it is going to be of type settings and we need to use equal to here okay and here i'm going to specify few properties so for example i want to have dark mode property and i'm going to set it to true then let's say i want to have font size property i'm going to set it to 16 and i also want to have custom theme property and let's say i want to set it to pink okay so here we are creating some settings some configurations and the configurations these settings might change depending on the context and in such cases also we can use indexed properties and one more use case where we can use index properties is when we want to represent collections where the elements have properties that is not known in advance for example let me create another interface and let's call this interface as user okay let me make this u in caps and in this interface i want to have a name property which is going to be of type string so this is the fixed property and then i also want to have the index properties so again i'll call it as prop you can call it anything this prop is going to be a string value and it is also going to store a value of any type okay and now what we want is i want to create a user array so for that let's create a variable let's call it users which is going to be an array of user okay and to this we are going to assign an array and in that array we are going to have some objects and those objects will be of type user right so here let's create an object there we will have a name property let's say john and then i can add as much dynamic properties as i want for example i can add age which is going to be 30 and maybe gender which is male okay and here i have used equal to which should be colon and then i can create another user where i can have completely different properties except the name property so let's say name is mark but then i don't want to have the age property let's say i want to have interests property okay so this user might have some interests some hobbies for example maybe music sports etc okay and instead of gender property i'll say location and i'll specify some city name maybe london okay so in this case also using index property is something which we might want to do because here if you see in this user array we have different users with different properties so we have a collection with an entity with different properties so this is another use case where we can use indexed properties so i hope with these three examples now it is clear what is an indexed property and where you should use it this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day